Let's take a look at IC number 72. On the very first problem, you'll look at your worksheet over here. It says a rotation of about 180 degrees. So that means you've got to turn your worksheet paper two turns, you know, half of a turn, I guess you could say, two-fourths. So there's one-fourth, and here's two-fourths. Now, as it's sitting there looking upside down, you just need to go and get the coordinates of A, B, and C and write them down on your paper. So that way you can know what to graph here in just a bit. So here's number one. Uh, here is uh, A prime, and it looks like it's over here at 1 on the x-axis, and then it's at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for the y-axis. So the coordinates of this uh, A spot right here would be at 1, 5. Why? Because it's right here at 1 on the x-axis, and it's at 5 on the y-axis. Now we take a look at B prime. And it's sitting right here at this spot on the x-axis. And if this is 0, then this has to be 1. So b prime is at 1. And where's it at on the y-axis? Well, you see it lines up with right at the origin, so it would be at 0 for the y. And let's take a look at c prime. My x-axis, it lines up underneath the c right here on the x-axis. So here's 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And where does it line up with this on the y-axis? 1, 2, 3, positive 3, right here. So now uh, that you've got those coordinates recorded over here on your notebook paper, turn your worksheet back around, and you'll be able to draw this triangle that has been rotated into the correct position. So here is 1, 5. Go ahead and label it A prime because that's what we're doing. B prime is at 1, 0. So here's B prime. Done. And C prime is at negative 3, positive 3. Now, I'll notice that B is connected to C right there. So that means that I have to go up to my B prime right here and connect it to C prime. Won't be the straightest of lines, but we'll get it. Uh, a connects to C, so A prime is going to go back to C prime. And B connects to A, so here's B prime to A prime. We're done. Take a look at this, and here's the answer key. So pretty much what we've done is, is this right here. Okay. And I do want to show you this. If I rotate this paper upside down, you know, one half of a turn, so there's one fourth. There's one half. You can see that the C is going to be sitting right there. When I rotate it back around, you'll see the C prime will be, the C prime will wind up right here. So let's rotate it on the back around. One fourth, one half. And there's the C prime waiting where we expected it to be. Let's go on to number two. Clockwise, that means we've got to go to the right. So we'll turn it one fourth of a turn. And let's see here. Uh, that's an H right here. So H prime is negative 2, 0. B prime be negative 5, negative 4. I prime be at negative 5, 0. Turn your paper back around, your original orientation, and go graph these. And let's see, G and H are connected, so G prime and H prime, and then we can get the rest of the sides matched up there. There we go, we've rotated it. And here's the answer key. Looks like we got that right. Clockwise, so one fourth of a turn. See that'd be two negative one. Negative three, negative two. B 
prime, so let's see, negative 2 on the x-axis, negative 3 on the y-axis. It's going to make a little bit of a mess right there, but we can't do anything about it. And I see that the S and U is connected, so S prime, T D prime. I see that S then would connect up to the T, so this S prime is going to connect up to the T there. And that would just be able to see it. Let's check the answer key and make sure we got it correct. Yeah, there we go. 180 degrees would be a half a turn, basically flipping it upside down. prime would be negative 3, 3. C prime, negative 1, 0. right C prime right there after I plotted it. And negative 4, negative 1. Yep, we got the three points on there. 90 degrees counterclockwise, so we need to flip it backwards. To the left, one quarter of a turn. Let's see, it looks like that's at negative one, negative one. This one would be at negative one, three, to the H. like it's gonna kind of get a little messy in here again negative one one right here let's go ahead and call that g prime h prime is negative one positive three three h prime there's f prime let's see g and h are connected so g prime to h prime G to F, so G prime, F prime, and then that'll close up the side. So let's double check with the answer key. Yeah, that'll work. Number six, about halfway through with it. 180 degrees, doesn't matter which way you go because it's just going to make it upside down. Negative three, negative one. That'd be prime would be negative one, negative three. So uh, x prime would have to be at negative four. Now let's see here. I think it's going to be negative five, negative one, negative two, three, four, and negative five. W and Y, so that'll connect Y to X, Y to X, and here's the Y 
last part. I'm going to make a second video for the second half, so check out the next one for problem 7 through 12.